What's good, YouTube in the world? A good starter burp. Anyway, so here we are. We're in like week two? Has it been two weeks? Is it? I don't know. Time's kind of weird for me. Anyway, but we're back with the old at-home tome, as you can see. Uh, this one, so we started at Sailing Forming Faces, which, by the way, is uploaded and everything, but I don't know if the coronavirus is messing with that stuff, because usually it, it's definitely uploaded by this time, usually. So, I don't know. Check, Keep checking the streaming services. I'll let you know when I find it and see it up and all that. But it's coming out. I'm very excited for it. I think you guys are going to like it. Speaking of new albums, the next one is called Visions from Hollywood. And that comes out um, October 22nd. Now this one, I've been excited for every album I've written. I love writing music. I love making music. There's almost nothing in this world that is as good as getting done with an album and then sitting down and really listening to it. I, a lot of you probably don't know what that's like. You should try it. It's amazing. It's the best feeling ever. One of them. There's a couple. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, but it's one of the best feelings in the entire world. But that being said, Visions from Hollywood, I've... I've essentially been working on this for like two years. Like, I, when I started writing music, this was gonna be my first album, Visions. Like, I was like, ah, oh, Visions from Hollywood. I'm an actor too, this is great, it's perfect. But I started writing and the one I'm gonna be doing for, for you today, or part of, is To My Best Friend Amy. And I started writing it and I realized that I had some stuff like that I needed to deal with before I did that. So I thought, Visions would be the second one. Well, then the second one came out and I was like, Actually, this kind of starts to tell a story here, and it kind of evolved from there, uh, so on and so forth. And then finally, it was like, okay, I have all the songs that I want for this album. I've written these all, I mean, the ones from Visions over two years. They're going to be great. I'm really, really excited for it. I've composed a lot of the lyric and music, and it's different, and it's strange, but I think, I think you guys are really, really going to like it. Like... I don't try to take credit for these things that are made through me. You know, I'm simply a vessel in those ways. But whatever is coming through me, you know, pick your deity. Uh, it's making some pretty dope shit. And I'm very excited. And I just, I hope you guys listen to it and enjoy this beautiful thing that it's given. I'll be re releasing a single very soon. And on a later video, I'll talk about maybe voting for what that single might be. But, without further ado, this is the at-home tome, the first part, kind of like the prequels, but except that it's not going to be like, the, anyway. This is called Astral Place and Angel Zone. Probably a lot of you know if you like my stuff. Somehow knowing so strangely 
takes me to a place I've seen in dreams What are you? Where are you from? You must be flown from another zone A halo around your pretty head And the devil's claws when you're in my bed No, I'm strange, I've got my demons A barking life when I'm trying to see ya You see past these tightening strings a man who just wants to sing I'm worried baby can't you see these lines are forming all over me the mind's not he's gonna leave you alone I'm not sure I'm the one that can go all the way but I'm willing to try the sights are up and I'm feeling high she blows captain i love that one has a really special sp spot in my heart it's one of the few, first few songs i wrote several of these are that you know uh it just kind of and i mean honestly it just like one day i was just sitting thinking about the girl that i was you know with at the time i was like what a fucking woman like where's she come from like the angel zone or the astral place and then I was like, oh, what's another word? Gravity. And then just, it went. And then it was just like that. Literally like that. And then it just came out exactly as you heard it right there. This one, many people have called this their favorite of all my songs. This is the girl with hair of fiery Just 
Just a bangle bed, so cold and empty. And cell phone bright with your entry. The girl with hair of fiery red, she stole my soul and knocked me dead. She's up and at him at the crack of dawn. Her bra But I cannot find a reason for I'm free To take you away from me today The rose has bloomed, though the sun is gone The starlight shines until the dawn of a whole new day With my girl She wrote, or he, me, or she, or both. I don't know. I love that song. I could sing that a million times and probably not get tired of it. It's just a catchy little tune. Oh, God, I said that. Maybe now I'm going to have to sing it a million times. I probably still don't get that. I'll probably just come up with different ways to sing it. Welcome to the mind of Trevor Farney. Anyway, uh, so this is this has been that's two songs. We're gonna do two more. I'm just gonna go straight one into the other, um, and hopefully I just remembered the first one because uh, I'm not gonna be looking at it. The second one I don't really know as well, but I'm gonna give it my best effort for all you fellows, and I think it think it will kind of. I mean, it's a it's a direct message out there to all you guys. I mean, I know we're in kind of a weird time, and probably everybody's mind is running it a million times a minute. But two things: one, take a deep breath, do some yoga. Seriously, I'm not being condescending when I'm saying that. I'm saying that as like a genuine lover of yoga myself. Like, you just you gotta get in there, you gotta stretch, you gotta breathe, and you gotta get back to here, to you, to who you are. Otherwise, you're just going to be fucking caught in the cosmic wind. And there's a lot of wind right now. It's a storm. So let's root down. Then after that, pick up a good song. Maybe it's this song. Listen to it and ease that mind. And that's going to be the last song. First one is one you'd say from death. <laughs> 
have double meanings and now the rocker cries upon the stage of drugs and rock and roll maybe is singing the contents of his soul and maybe that's all we need maybe all we need is to let our souls just be I am within you The eye that you can't see Located of you In the place between your brain I know it all you know The things that you can't see If you close your eyes And look on through this thing called me Want to, we can go to nearly any dream. Take your mind for a ride far past this regime. I know places out in spaces way beyond. So cure to And you, I got that old mind We got it all right here All that's left to find Take all of your worries and throw them right away Put them in a place where love's the only sight And need that trust Throw them right away Put them in a place Where love's the only sign Then ease that I know it's hard out there, guys. I mean, I'm I'm in, like, Kansas. So, like, I'm in, like, the least, like, fuckable place, you know. And even here it's weird, you know. My heart goes out to you, the people in Italy, people in New York, people that are really dealing with this stuff face-to-face. 
and worse being bombarded constantly by the media just watching that death toll just tick on it's shitty what they do but we can beat them just coming together no wars have to be fought no rioting no crazy shit just realize that right now in this one moment we're all existing and we're all humans and that's the most important thing in this world it's all that matters and more than that that we're living we're alive go forth you know be respectful to people and love people as best you can you know and listen to your own advice you know if you tell other people to do things make sure you're doing them too I hope you go with love. Anyway, peace and handshakes. This has been Vincent II, my at-home tone concert series, episode one. <laughs>